Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to remove security tool on a Windows 7 and Windows Vista computer. And currently, we're doing it on a, a Windows 7 system, and we've already put out one video that's uh, had uh, about 400,000 views and, and many comments, and it explains in detail how to remove it on an XP system. But because we got so many requests for Windows 7, we decided to go ahead and just do one just specifically for Windows 7 and for Vista. Uh, this should work uh, good on, on both of them. Uh, first off, Security Tool is a fake client. It's a clone. Uh, there's some others out there like uh, Smart Security or Security Smart, one of those two. And these traces that it gives are all bogus. This is all an attempt just to scam you out of your money. So it, just be forewarned. Uh, don't bother paying for it. And if you do pay for it, immediately call your uh, credit card company. And we do have some articles on Remove Virus too as well to to tell you what to do. Um, first of all, we don't answer any questions via YouTube. Uh, feel free and comment. However, if you have a specific question or can't do something, go to the RemoveVirus.org website and actually ask your question there. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. So one of the first things you notice is your desktop is completely blue. And this is uh, very common. It blocks out your icons. Uh, it may turn it a different color. But what we're going to do is we first need to stop the security tool process. And if you can, if you're able to bring up the task manager, great. You can do that by holding down Control, Shift, Escape at the same time. And you'll see it popped up for a second for me, but then it closed it down right away. Same with uh, all the antivirus clients that we have installed and the like. So what we need to do is we need to manually terminate the process first. To find that out, let's go ahead and go to Computer. Under computer, go ahead and select your main drive, most likely it's C, and then go under users. Under users, go to, we'd recommend your actual name, um, whatever the name is of the user who's logged in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select uh, Jacob in this case. Once there, go ahead and go to desktop, and this should be under the, your current login name. From there, we're going to notice an icon right here. It's called security tool. Let's go ahead and right click on that. We're going to select properties. Now that we're at properties, we're going to see this right here. This tells me the folder that security tool is in and the actual name of the executable that's causing the security tool to run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the C colon backslash program data and then that eight digit number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and copy it. And you might have it be 10 in some cases. We've had it be 10 in the past. So there, there's a lot of different variants out there. Now I'm going to take that, and you're going to notice I'm getting a lot of uh, these pop-ups keep coming. Just move them over. Uh, pay no attention to them. If you close them down, they're just going to keep popping up on you, so just leave them open. So I'm going to the actual folder. Now if you right-click and delete, you'll notice that you will not be able to delete it. And the reason why is it's currently running. However, you can try to delete it if you want, but it's not going to work immediately. Is what I recommend is just clicking on it once or twice there, very lightly, or for those who don't know, right click, rename, and just rename it anything you want. It doesn't have to be any words, just rename it. So now is what we're going to do is reboot the computer. So by rebooting, I mean turn the computer off and turn it back on, and then I'll show you what to do once I get to the other side. All right, we went ahead and reboot, rebooted our computer, and now you're going to see that our desktop, we do have it back. Go ahead and right click on the uh, security tool icon again. Get that folder. And at this point in time, security tool should not be running up for you. And you, you'll also notice I'm going to go ahead and copy this direction, this directory, I should say, that our task manager does work now too as well. If you have, uh, you'll see security tool properties just because I have that opened. And you might find that you have to do this really fast. Some people, sometimes you do have to do it really fast, other times not so much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to that directory now. And I'm going to delete the file that I renamed earlier. So now we, we've fully deleted the, the actual ex executable of security tool. And now I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and delete the 9 or 10 digit or 8 digit, whatever it is now, folder from my computer. I'm going to go ahead and delete the uh, icon on my desktop. Delete it. Come on. Moving a little bit too fast. 
So I've deleted all that. Uh, the best thing to do now is if you already have security software, go ahead and run a full scan. You will be able to scan now. It's very important you do run a scan, irregardless, uh, just to be sure that you have no other Trojans installed on your computer. In this case, uh, I do believe that we have a browser pop-up on here installed along with it. Also, uh, I'm going to go ahead and scan using Spyware Doctor with antivirus. We do have a link directly uh, below this video to that software that you can download, or you can go to the removevirus.org website. We do have a coupon that we feature there too as well, and that's very important. Now, also, if you cannot remove this yourself or unable to stop it or just don't know enough to be able to to take care of the virus yourself. We do highly recommend the guys over at OnlineComputerRepair.org. Again, that's OnlineComputerRepair.org. Uh, they're the sponsors of our videos and uh, have done a really good job. And they can fully remove uh, all viruses on your system, no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and run a quick scan with the uh, Doctor here and I'll show you the results. So I just got done doing a scan with the uh, Doctor with antivirus and we're going to notice that we do have four other Trojans installed to as well as well as some past traces of infections that I went ahead and manually removed earlier today and those are those are the bad ones there and there's one left over uh, just looks like a from security tool that's just a link to the actual program itself which isn't anything major and then another uh, the Renos Trojan uh, as well and that came along with security tool so we have this Trojan uh, along with uh, four others, so a total of five other Trojans that came along with our install of Security Tool, and that's why it's so important to actually go in and use an antivirus client to help you remove the rest of these. Now, is what I could do is I could just go to these and manually delete these. Um, is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit Fix Check and, and call it good. Uh, you will have most likely a registry or a key or two that does need to rem be removed as well. Now, in order for you to find that out, you do have to use security program to find out those exact traces that you have because every computer is going to be slightly different with security tool. So that is it, and by now you should at least be able to, to remove it using a security client, the rest of the traces. Otherwise, the main component of security tool has now been fully removed. I uh, hope this video helped, and take care.